um, as you can see under tools there's actually a green fire axe, I'm going to be buying that hey guys and welcome to episode 8 so this episode I want to secure the base as you guys can see I made 3 forges and a workbench and I went to fetch all my stuff from the other base so yeah, this episode we should be able to get quite a bit done Let's just put more wood in here I actually had another die wolf visit my base uh, but luckily I was out cutting wood and I was able to draw him towards the landmine field of the army base so I was able to kill him, it took two mines after I took I think five arrows times two damage so those bosses are tough okay, wood stacks to 6000 now also guys I want to show you this I am level 32. If you go to the skills page, uh, you can see that I have level 5 tool smithing and weapon smithing. I put some into science as well to unlock some of the electricity buffs. Now we just need points for that. And then also uh, we need steel smithing to make steel tools. But I need points for that. Okay, so let's quickly go secure this base. Unfortunately, I had to use my wrench and my claw hammer to um, make the workbench. It's a shame we had to use the wrench and the claw hammer. At least the wrench was already, I think was broken, but the claw hammer still had some life in it, so we could have used that. Also, I want to show you guys the car parts I found. So I actually took apart most of the cars up to the strip club. Oh yeah, we definitely need to place these spikes this episode. I forgot about the spark, uh, spikes last episode, and when I got back to the base off camera, there was a screamer inside my base. And I actually thought she spawned there until I did a little bit of inspection. I will show you guys the damage she did. I've noticed at the moment that it is actually cheaper to make new spikes than repairing the old ones. Okay, so I will show you guys this. I put the hatch in here with ladders and I took out the stairs. And then this is what the screamer did. She broke through these, came up here and then when I got here she was wailing on the inside from here. It was actually quite a thing to see a screamer inside my base. At the moment I don't actually care if the screamers see me outside since um, I'm level 32 only because I killed a few hordes, uh, wandering hordes and also the building and everything actually levels you up fast. There is no how to level fast in Alpha 16 anymore. Well there is but I mean it's so basic. Okay so I want to make more of these iron bars. Hopefully we'll have enough by the end of next episode so we can face the day 7 horde. Okay, so I want to make some tools as well. The iron fire axe, the iron pickaxe, and the... Should I make an iron shovel? I wonder. Now I'm going to make the claw hammer. Okay, now, as you guys can see, the green axe that I got from the trader is already a crappy quality. And then also, what else did I get? Oh, I got a anvil. There's not much, uh, much difference with a 200 quality stone axe and a green quality um, fire axe. Okay, now to show you guys what I did to level up so fast, you're going to be amazed at the progress I made. You okay, see, so it's this side. As you can see, I plant my own tree orchard over here. Just going to quickly, one, two, three, four. I want to place these spikes and then go show you guys. I just want to get rid of the corpse as well. As I apologize for the background noises, I'm recording this at night and my family is a little, a little bit active tonight. I actually messed up somewhere and placed a spike on top of a spike. Costly mistake. I remember someone telling me that the spikes are so cheap now, only 20, uh, 20 wood to make one of these spikes. And at first I thought that was amazing. But if you take into consideration how little wood you get from chopping down a tree, 20 wood is actually quite a lot. It was up here that I made the mistake. And another one. Well, I want to get... I only want to get two around at the moment. Because, as you guys know, I did ten around where I took away the grass. And this is going to be my wall. I want to first get enough resources to be able to make the wall. Or to be able to afford to make the wall. As soon as I have steel tools, I'll take away these concrete stairs. Also, guys, my... Ooh, it worked out perfectly. Um, my wall is going to be that quarter block design that I usually use in Alpha 15 for defense. I'm actually curious to see if it still works in Alpha 16. Let's quickly drop all of these off and then see if we can go exploring a bit. 
So I did most of the things I wanted to do inside. Putting all my resources and everything in here. Just have to make separate chests later on as well. Before I go, I also have to remember to drink something. It's a shame the pick isn't ready in time, but we'll use that off camera to go mining a bit. Also guys, um, can you remember in, I think it was episode 1 or 2 or 3, I said that there were flat stones and it looked like a POI or something. Well, when I was running towards my base for my other base for all the, these resources, I came across those rocks again and when I zoomed in, there was an entrance. So I think that uh, those are one of those, um, uh, the mines you get in Nevis Gain. I think it's something like that, or it's a tomb. I actually want to go uh, explore that and see what's in there. Okay, did I have everything on me? Also, I used most, as you guys can see, my health is uh, almost gone. I will manage to raise my wellness by 12 again, but the health vaulted to me by surprise. Obviously, it didn't show that I was hunted, so it got me by total surprise. Okay, there's nothing else I want on me, no ammo. I also, I brought my sniper rifle from the other base, so we'll be able to use that during the horde. That is a horde. No, 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 no. They're wrecking my spikes now. Come on, over here, over here, over here. And then go back to get these guys away from the spikes. Wow, there's quite a few fat people. I also need to make a new shiv. It's been a while since I've made one. I should actually take them to the minefield, but the minefields are a bit far away. Let's see if we can get a few of the people on the ground. Nope. Where's the corpse? I think there are, yep, there's crawlers as well, so I need to be careful. At least I got my... Well, I thought it was a crawler. At least I got my scamming, no, my fast eddy skill up. So I'm able to loot these guys fast as they fall. Come on. Come on. I hate this rainy weather in this terrain. Seems to always be raining. These zombies have so much health. At least the rhythm thing still works for these. Just have to predict where the heads are going to be. It's a shame they did so much damage to these spikes. I have to put in new ones. Also now I'll have to go dump all of this and also see if I can take a jacket with me. I don't know if there's going to be rain where we're going. Could have sworn there was a cheerleader as well. Guess I've killed her. I'll need to block this all for the horde. Well, hopefully by then all the iron bars are done. Right, let's see. What quality one do we have on? I'll actually have to start putting stuff together. Let's quickly dump these and then go outside. I don't think it would be necessary for BL or anything because our sexual Tyrannosaurus uh, skill is actually quite high. I'll show you guys that now. Steel arrows we can't use yet. We need to have the steel perk for that. Um, so all of the stone, everything is in here. Okay, let's see how far these forges are, and then we really have to go. Okay, before we go, let's just do that, since it's going to bother me knowing that one slot has run out while we were away. 
And then also, we can actually do this. That's way too much wood. I'm not a fan of wasting resources. This one, only half. Okay, so the rest we dump. I don't think we need wood at the... Uh, well, we don't need wood at the moment. Let's take one shiv. Also, we need to remember our jacket. And I put it on for now until we overheat. Okay, so let's throw this away, put this on, and we're ready to go out. Now, to show you guys why I leveled so fast, as you can see, I planted a ton of trees. And the reason being, I cut down all these trees in the area up until the hill. So all the way from there to all the way over there behind the buildings, I cut down all the trees. It's actually quite a nice thing having two hour days, which I'm sure it can be a drag sometimes, but I was able to do so much. Let's just quickly see on the map where we want to go. So basically the hub city is down here. Let's see what happens when we run this direction. That's over there. Also, where is that other POI? Huh. I actually wanted to go explore it, but just now it's a cave or mine or something, and I don't want to mine at the moment. So I'll do that when we have a mini bike or something, just so we can get there faster. I mean, running all the way there will waste so much time. And as you guys can see, all the cars are gone over here. Oh, I wanted to show you that as well, but I'll show you that next episode. Is this the same one that we faced at the base? Hopefully the further we go, the less rain we experience. I'm actually hoping for more towns or... Yeah, just more a populated town because this was mo mostly a residential area. I want something with like stores and stuff. Also, they'll need to tweak the looting a bit. Uh, because even with Quality Joe at level 1, I was able to get a purple engine. Or was it a battery? One of the two, but it was purple. The rest were blue, yellow, and orange, but still. Huh, a forge out this close. But I don't think you can pick up forges anymore. I'm gonna stay away from vultures, I do not want to die. Okay, so I'm not going to explore that at the moment, since we most, all of us know how, what that looks like inside and what to expect. What I want is something new, so hopefully we find that something in this episode. And I just have to make sure to loot everything to get my scavenging skill even further up. I think I'm either two or three away from the next quality Joe. Oh yes! Awesome, so next episode we'll be able to make our mini bike. Oh, no, I'm actually, wait, that was too fast. Either a pig or a die wolf. Just gonna see something quickly. Okay, so we're able to make all the mini bike stuff. Huh, wait. One of these just had something. Oh, it was this. Well, I just thought, what was that? Let's quickly go make the mini bike, guys. We will be able to go everywhere we want faster. It'll be so much more fun to actually get uh, to get to places faster than having to run and run and run. Also, if there's a wolf on a mini bike, we can outrun them. I hate these old uh, trees; they give me the creeps. It's actually extremely cool that they added the trees to the plains. Because in the beginning, there were so few trees, you couldn't do anything. We just pick up all the tires we can on the way to the base. So we can compare tires over there. Hello, hello, hello. I can't believe I missed these in the middle of the road. Some zombies have real trouble seeing you. Let's see which is faster, this one or this one. Two shots compared to three, okay. You guys should see how fast the die wolves are when they're chasing you. I almost died from that one, but luckily I got to the minefield. At least with normal wolves, you're more or less able to outrun them. But with the dire wolves, it's impossible. Not just do they keep chasing you, but they're extremely fast. As soon as these trees are fully grown, all of them, 
and I have at least a 300 quality tool, I'll be able to get so much wood from them. I can't wait. I should actually add stairs over here. I feel so small compared to this. Ooh, those purple tires, awesome. Now, we can see if we can make some mini bike parts. What do I need? I not enough iron in this one. Chassis. So that's the one we have to make in there, and now the rest are over here. What do we need again? Handlebars and handlebars. I keep hiccuping. Okay, duct tape, leather, mechanical part, short pipe. Oh, we don't have these kind of that, that kind of leather anymore, so we'll need to do this. Also guys, it's better to scrap one at a time because, for example, say you want six um, of the scrap leather, or these hides, not the leather. If you want six of those, you have to scrap one at a time because if you don't, it's actually going to... Shortcut key. Yeah. If you don't, it's going to give you way less for scrapping. Okay, how much do we need? Two mechanical parts. As you can see, we have a lot of parts over here. A lot of purple parts as well. Okay, basket. I uh, only have this crappy one for now. We need headlights and we need electrical parts. What am I missing? Duct tape. Okay, now I could have sworn I picked up the mechanical parts. Okay, so now I can make one of these, but I need to do it over here. Why does it say I can't make it? Need, oh, short pipes. Could have sworn I had enough. Okay, so handle. We can take these down. The first mini bike is going to be a bit crappy with the handlebars and the chassis being low quality. But as we get better parts, I'll make more. 21, it's 21 across from all sides, no, 18. So it's 36, 72. We need 72 of these iron bars. At first, we just needed one layer so we can stand and shoot the hordes. Okay, so this uh, mini bike. Oh, you can just make it like that. Awesome. So let's put a, a few things away over here. This, this, um, and all of the parts. I, I have a new way of putting everything away. Everything gun related and tool related goes over here. Claw hammer we don't need at the moment. Everything food and medical rela uh, related goes over here. And everything else goes over here. Okay, so now we have tools on us and we have our mini bike. Am I missing something? It feels like, oh, the seat. Almost got away without the seat. Okay, four duct tape, seven leather, three cotton. I don't think we have cotton. We'll have to go look for two more. Seven, four. What else am I missing? Seat. Okay, four iron pipes. So I hope there are cotton plants nearby. I think they'll mostly be in the forest biome. Let's quickly go check for that. My big fear is zombies spawning inside my base, like it did in my friend's base. But I think the reason that happened was because I was never in that base before. So even though he claimed the base, because I wasn't in there before, it spawned for me. But they need to fix that because I mean my friends already cleared it out and they placed doors, a land claim and sleeping bags. And the seat over here. Okay, so three of the parts are orange. I'll need to work on my uh, miscellaneous crafting. Just also do this. We can actually put more of this now. And let's just use up the last of our iron in here. See, now I'm already overheating again. Let's just take the jacket off. And quickly put the defenses around. Apologize for background noise, guys. Okay, since there's already something here, I'm not going to put iron bars here at the moment. 
first I want to put on this side. Wait, why can't I turn it to... No! Are you telling me I made the wrong kind? Why can't I place it on the side? Wait, what's the difference? This is just messed up. You can't place it on the side anymore. I'll have to make one of these centered ones and see if it still does the same. The centered one. When I get back, I'll have to look at that. I can't believe, if that's the case, I wasted so much iron. But I think that's a bug because it should be able to go on that side. And let's just quickly put the mini bike down. And then also, we'll need to be careful not to damage the bike since we don't actually have a lot of repair kits. So let's just put the frame first. Ooh, I need gas as well. You have to go get that upstairs. Let's hope the mini bike disappearing bug is gone. If I'm not mistaken, I put all the gas in the car. Yes, over here. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to look for wrenches and a new town. I actually feel like going up here now since we have a mini bike. But I want to see if this actually heads to the hub as well. But actually, it's uh, it's not always that easy to decide where to go, because the hub could be that way, the hub could be this way. So you just have to take a chance and then hope for the best. This is going to be so much faster. Now we can actually loot all these prefabs on the way. Damn, I tried to kill him by riding over him. Did not work. I don't want to damage anything, come on. Am I still hunted? Yes, where is he? Oh, up there. And not hunted anymore. That's dumb. Was that a... S Where's the snake? I can't see it. Ah, there it is. I hate these snakes. And they're so damn hard to hit, actually. I'm wasting all my ammo just on this one snake, and it does just doesn't want to die. Yeah, that should have killed it. Come on, bleed out already. I don't have enough ammo to fight you. Oh, come on, it's so thin, it's impossible to hit. Finally, damn. Okay, so where was that bird's nest I saw? Damn, it's a shame I lost sight of it. Another one. At least with the snakes, it shows you that you're hunted. Okay, now I just need to be careful as I approach. And look for these sleeper zombies. And I'm seen by who? Who sends me? It shows I'm hunted, but who is hunting me? One down? Let's see if there's any more in here. It sounds like a rather huge zombie making that noise. Crash to see if he's still hunted? No. Ooh, more paint. Oh, I just got a little bit too close. Even these guys' uh, heads are easier to hit than the snakes. Seems it's not just my PC crapping out, but also my headset. So it keeps making distortion noises. Okay, so next is this building. With my bad experience of late sleeper zombie spawns, I have to be careful with these prefabs. Okay, and already hunted by what? Probably a snake. You just need to be careful and quiet. Oh, hello there. I appreciate you wanting to help, but I have this one covered. Just need to be really careful with these. Okay, now what's hunting me now? It's weird seeing the forge over there, not here. Don't seem to be any sleepers up here, so whatever's hunting me is downstairs. And I got a... Oh, I thought it was a wrench. What's this? Oh, cool. Painting books, and I don't have to buy it. 
Damn, 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 damn. Okay, it's a shame. I wonder if you can still pick these up. Because the farm said that he can't pick up workbenches anymore, but I don't know about uh, the forges. There's there quite a few places that I c I've come across that have forges, and it'll help me greatly if I can actually then use them. There seems to be a zombie in there. I think it's someone that decided to hide from a zombie in a closet and then died. Okay, corner block, all of these are done, and we're done with this one. That was fast. Also with this, I'm actually, I actually want to go check out that POI that I saw. Because now that we have the minibike, we can get there fast. Just crouch closer. You know, why am I using this when I have this? And no one in here. Awesome. Okay, now what to dump? Uh, let's eat a few things. We can just well eat this as well. Oh, I didn't even notice I picked up the pistol book. See, guys, I loot so fast that even I don't uh, pick up on things. Also, a reminder, guys, when you're looting these places, look for the cooking pot. Uh, I have space. And then look for the bird's nest up here. We just quickly dump all of this in the bike. Okay, the food especially. Since that just gets in the way. And yeah. I should actually make more feathers on the way as I collect things. Weapon parts, cooking grill, not that much. Uh, there's not actually that much things on us. That many things on us that we actually need. Just put this in there for now. Okay, so. We managed to do quite a lot today. Even made our mini bike. <laughs> and we looted one, two, three POIs. So, if you guys like this episode, please have a like and share with your friends. If you have any comments or feedback on this episode or tips and hints, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.